right, so just uh, opened up my um, new holster today. I ordered uh, from this company called uh, Thice. I guess this guy's a one-man job. Um, got a uh, Glock 19 MOS. Let's go ahead and clear this gun and make sure it's safe. Glock, Glock 19 MOS with the um, Enforce um, AC, ACL, I believe. I'm, is it ACL? Hold on a second. It's the Compact Enforce. APLC, sorry. It's the Enforce APLC flashlight on it. Glock 19 MOS. I know the lighting's kind of crapping in here. Try to move around a little bit. Get better lighting. As you can see, I did the uh, painted the Punisher logo on there. I did that myself. I actually did the, the stippling on there myself as well. Both sides has a cool Punisher look to it. So, wanted to look for a good holster for this gun with the flashlight, and um, I'm always used to using these crossbreed holsters all the time because I love the feel of the flat cow skin on the t on the back and also hard kydex because I love the way you can still insert your firearm without having to move or pinch around you know compared to like um, a holster like one of these types you know plus it's loose so it's not clipped so it can move around even though this material um, makes a good grabbing you know stickiness to it but still not no support to it and to reinsert your firearm you have to pinch it you know put it in and stuff so I've always liked the easy inserts and you know taking out the excerpt as well but I've you know I've always had hard kydex holsters but it was always up against your skin and bulky and it was very uncomfortable so when I came across these Real comfortable. You have that small, that soft, uh, smooth texture up against your skin, and it also, you know, covers the gun, so none of the, the uh, back strap of, or the back of the slide is digging up against your gut or your stomach, wherever it is. Your sorry, I lost you there for a second. So, I always like that feel of the crossbreed holsters, but crossbreed does not offer um, a holster with this flashlight I think they're very small options that they have for any gun with a light or for for this matter a Glock I was looking for something with the Enforce on it they didn't really didn't have it for crossbreed they didn't have it for a lot of holsters like I was trying to find something for alien holsters because I love their style of stuff but they didn't have anything for this flashlight either and this is a style that a lot of people are using these days because you know it's real cool it looks real nice it's real slick real compact um, so I looked online and I googled searched you know on the search bar for Glock holsters with flashlight and found that company uh, Thice I have his business card somewhere up I think I left it in my friend's car uh, but I'll put it on the video later or something or if somebody needs any comments I'll, I'll let you know where you can contact with them um, so yeah I ordered from him he's a one man operation I have it on me now I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's on me. See, it's very easy, very easy insert. Very easy to pull out. Very easy to put it back in. So I'll go ahead and take my jacket off so you can see how very low um, cut it is. Very great to conceal. So you can see, and I'm sure the lighting is kind of crappy in here, but you can easily see there's no prints or nothing. It's very slim, very not noticeable at all so it's very easy to just re-exert and then just very easy putting it back in see that 
So this is the Thice holster with the flashlight. This is the, you have the option to either having a half holster or the whole full thing. I prefer the full because it'll protect my light real good. Let me, let me drop it down here. Kind of high. So it'll cover, it covers the light, protects everything on the inside so it's sealed all on the inside there. So it's a whole full case and that's the option that I got. You also have the option for different material, better leather in the back. Um, I went with a cheaper one, you know, because I was already spending like $90 on it already, so I figured, hey, this shouldn't be that bad. I think you could change the clips on them too, get better clips. I got all the pretty much the standard stuff. But this is the holster, Thice, for the Glock 19 MOS. The full cut for the gun with you know, and I like it so far. Little by little, I had to uh, adjust the clips to the depth that I wanted. It was it was riding a little too high for me, so I put the clips a little bit higher and let it sit a little bit lower. I found like it's better to conceal that way. So so far so good. You know, uh, it's working out. I just got it today, so I got to give it some time. But I'm already used to the crossbreed holsters, like I said, but they didn't have the option for this gun and then with this flashlight. Well, I'm sure with the gun, the, with the gun, the gun by itself, without the flashlight, I'm sure they had the option. Actually, this was a this was a holster for a Glock 17, and I was using it without the flashlight, and it worked pretty good for the Glock 17, being that this is a Glock 19. So, yeah, I got the Thice holster because that was the only company that I found that had the option for this uh, gun with this flashlight that I wanted for the Enforce APLC and a Glock 19 MOS or just even a Glock 19. Um, so Thice holster, Glock 19 MOS with the Enforce flashlight on it. Looks pretty good. I like the job on it. Did a good job. Like he's a one-man job. Takes him about three to four weeks. Um, took about exactly three weeks once uh, he confirmed that it was being shipped. It got here pretty quick. So, good job. Like it. Hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for visiting. Make sure uh, if you guys are in the market for a holster. Um, definitely check them out. Go to work on it, especially if you're trying to customize your your Glock stay. My dog's trying to move around right now. Um, definitely check them out. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Especially when you're trying to customize a Glock with the uh, Enforced Light and certain other lights if you want to use Streamlight and stuff like that. I'm sure you can do pretty much anything you want. So check you guys out later, Ronnie Hunt Life, uh, check you out.